Hi guys, welcome to the latest episode of Eat Fast, where we're going to take stories from the Bible and give our own take on it. True poems and even sketches. So stay tuned, it's going to be a bit. David and Goliath, brought to you by Jesse G. A little shepherd boy, out with his dog Roy, faced a stern test, fending off the wolf, but he didn't cry or be a pest. Then there was a lion. No, I'm not lying. Oh, and did I mention the bear? But he wasn't a fish out of water. He depended on his father, his rightful defender. Then there was a war. His brothers went off. David wanted to go, but Jesse was like, hold on, go put food in the trough. A moment of worry for Darius became delirious as a precarious battle was at stake. In front of them was Goliath, all nine foot eight. David was on his way to deliver some lunch. They told him about Goliath, that anyone would fight him, would say bye-bye, crunch. Brave as he was, David get up for battle, not with armor, a sword, or a shield, but a smooth stone from the river found in a field. It was a battle of ages, the underdog versus the man, like God. You see, while Goliath thought he was safe, all David had was faith. Then... The stone was released as far as the eye could see. Goliath still in his glee, but what he didn't know is that it's over, TKO. So, uh, David and Goliath, this is my interpretation. I don't know if you could see, but it's David with his slingshot and his pebble. And in the far distance, they are very small, that small guy. That's Goliath. He's not very big. David seems very big. You see? Yeah. This is Odelila. Odelila, I thought about her every day. I thought she was going to give me more strength but instead she took my strength away. She came like a perfect woman, but all she was doing is hiding her imperfections. I thought she was the one love of my life, but she is the reason I was put to death. O oh, Delilah, the girl I was in love with, the girl who took my life apart, the girl who took control of me, the girl I was in love with. You know, I don't know if anyone can see it. No. Uh, yes? Three trees. From Adam and Eve. Three trees. No, and I... Uh, wait, 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 right, okay, so, so turn back around, turn back around. This is a drawing of David and Goliath. That's what I said. Oh. <laughs> okay. A child's drawing, eh? Not mine. This is Samson, brought to you by Jesse G. 
Hey there, Delilah. I see you in New York City. Wait, that's not mine. But let me give you a little bit of history of Samson, a really strong guy who used to fight lions, tigers, and bears made of iron, fibers, and really strong hairs. You see, he would fight for God's people. He was a real-life Superman fighting off evil. Like most men, he was struck by love, or so he thought. You see, his long mane, hmm, his long mane, you see, what it did is that Delilah reined in his mane. Little did he know that she was a spy, yeah? You see, he was tricked into giving up his strength, but his hair wasn't really his weakness. You see, that's the length of it. Deceived by Delilah, degraded from a demigod, didn't know any better. You see, but God restored his purpose, even though the people thought that he, yeah, he couldn't hurt us. Samson conditioned again his long hair. Armstrong stood between the pillars. He said, oh God, one more time. As the walls came down, Samson sacrificed his life for the Philistines. A man with the strength of a thousand Whose might had been unbound A man who fought and won against one thousand With just a jawbone he had found Blessed with these godly feats Who would have thought of his defeat But still a man underneath Physically strong but morally weak Who would have thought of his defeat this poem is still incomplete.